Hi, welcome to Bob Harper at Jukebox Amplifier Repairs. And on the bench today, as you can see, we've got a Balami amplifier. This is out of a Junior 40 jukebox coming for repair, along with a load of amplifiers coming in. I think I've got eight coming this week for repair. Uh, so it's going to be a busy time. So lots of videos coming up uh, when they're finished so the customers can see them working. Anyway, this is the first of them. This is, the, as I say, the J40. And you can also see the output transformer has been replaced by someone in the past. Um, but apart from that, I've done everything underneath as standard. One thing I would point out, if you're working on one of these, normally the ground position for the volume control is there, and that is the signal. But on this one, as from factory, it's reversed. So that is the signal. You can probably hear that slight buzz there. And that is the ground. So if you connect one of these up and you get ham on the volume control, it's probably because you've got the screen not connected on the ground connection. Um, I've, I've seen this once before, and I thought someone had messed with it, but obviously this is another amp that's come in. And it looks like factory um, that they obviously changed in later production models. Anyway, to keep it in line probably with, with the American armies. Anyway, we drop the stylus. Okay, what we do now, we'll pause the video and you can have a look underneath the chassis. Right, so we're underneath the chassis now and this has got to be the smelliest amplifier I've ever worked on. Someone in the past, or I don't know who, has sprayed this with engine cleaner. And it was absolutely soaked inside, there's still bits of it in there now. And of course as it's heating up with the heat of the amplifier valves and everything, it's stinking to high heaven. And hopefully it will burn off, but whoever put engine cleaner inside an amplifier, I, I don't know. But anyway, he's all done now, as you can see, all the new components, new smoothing caps there, there. Uh, needed a new resistor here, because the standee was broken on the top. Um, so yeah, he's all been gone through. I've checked all the values of resistors, replaced a few that were way out of tolerance, uh, replaced the rectifier for the uh, mechanism there, and a new capacitor for it. So yeah, he's all done. Um, I'll leave him on test for a while, and then he'll be bo boxed up and put in the queue to go back. Thanks a lot for watching.